Right, Sally is here with me now, which, wading through all your cards. <laughs> It was a big pile, come on. <laughs> there was nothing. I wrote my husband a poem, Where's Mine? <laughs> Not even a card from Mr Williams. No, nothing. But, you know, he likes to keep me in suspense. Later, it'll be there when we get home. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same as usual, bit of wine, a bit of food. <laughs> That's a weekday, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Monday to Friday, Duncan. All right. Talk about the weekends. <laughs> Have you had a lovely day anyway? I had a great day. Go on, oh, the doing? desk asked me earlier if I wanted to go and see two baby gorillas and I was like is the sea salty yes please because they've got two they've had two in a month and they're just perfect oh. and because they sort of look like you know like little mini humans I just couldn't stop asking questions about well, what's it like when a gorilla gives birth and what happens and how do they breastfeed so I'm sorry there are quite a lot of you know biological type questions in this but they're absolutely beautiful and they're an endangered species so we're really lucky to have them if you get a chance go and take a look and if you don't well here they are <laughs> That's adorable. You had a lot of journalistic mum questions there, didn't I know, you? sorry about that. I'm trying to make it a bit personal. All the important things. And I just remember that little bit of, like, you know, getting all the stuff out of his nose and um, foot fluff as well, picking fluff out of baby's feet. I mean, my mum was doing all the things that we do. It was just adorable. Anyway, it's been so mild. Have yes, you got anything very... in your garden? Nothing yet. Good. Well, hopefully we will. I've seen, like, bees and wasps already. I hope they're not going to have a shocker. Anyway, let's take a look. Here's the forecast. Hello there and a very good evening to you once again. Now, whether or not you like Valentine's, you can't fail to like that, can you? Isn't that beautiful? This backdrop, on the other hand, well, I'll leave that with you. Now, hopefully tomorrow the weather will be a little bit better, a bit drier and brighter for a lot of the day anyway. It's going to be mild again tomorrow, probably the warmest day of the week. And then the outlook has quite a lot of cloud in it. Friday's not looking too bad. Hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine. Uh, Saturday then goes a bit gloomier again. But there will be a few bits and pieces of rain around, so definitely keep an eye on the forecast. So for the rest of this evening, later on we have got this rain moving in, maybe some slightly heavier bursts on it. Hopefully a lot of it will have cleared out of the way by the time you get up tomorrow morning. There might still be a bit of cloud around and the temperatures are going to stay mild, a lot of them staying up into double figures. So as Thursday kicks off, it won't be too chilly. And as I said, hopefully a better day tomorrow, a little bit brighter. Yes, there is some cloud around, but we're looking at higher cloud and a few more breaks in it. So if we get that sunshine coming through, we could see those temperatures climb up to 15 or 16 degrees, which is a little bit more unusual for this time of year. As we reach the afternoon and the evening, we start to see this rain just skirting our part of the world. And as we go through the night, it will start to make its way across us, clearing uh, through into Friday morning. And then Friday, we should get uh, some bright skies. You can see those temperatures still staying quite mild, although, of course, there is still some cloud around, as I've mentioned. And then Saturday, more cloud, perhaps a bit of drizzle. Overnight, this rain looks set to come our way, clearing through into Sunday. Keep an eye on the forecast and the temperatures hopefully will keep you a bit cheery. We'll see you later on. Cheerio.